Leon O'Neill from A&M. Any of those young, I mean, that's five young defensive backs. It's good to see the numbers, but did any of them show well this weekend? Yeah, I thought uh, Quantrez Knight did. Uh, he looked good. He's he's. I, if I had to kind of circle three guys that the 49ers are uh, most excited about after the draft, um, it would be him. It would be Donovan West, the uh, the center, and um, Jeremiah Gemmel, the, the the linebacker from UNC. Uh, but Knight is interesting. I mean, Knight is play. You know, mostly played in college. He started in Maryland, and I think he went to Kent State. Then he ended up at UCLA. So he's been a lot of places and he played a lot of positions. But the spot where he was most effective was this, and every college calls it something different, but it's basically nickel cornerback. And, um, you know, sometimes the guy is, is lining up on the edge as a, as a pass rusher. Sometimes he's covering tight ends. Uh, but they want that, you know, that player to be a playmaker, to make a lot of plays in the backfield, um, to cover the slot, to cover the tight end. And, and he looked good. Um, and um, uh, I, I'd say he's a, uh, uh, a poor man's version of Jalen Petrie, who was my draft crush. I know you, you follow this very closely. Larry. Yes, from Baylor. <laughs> from Baylor. Right. So Petrie ends up. And where did Petrie wind up? What's that? Well, who got Petrie? Do we know? Uh, Tennessee? Uh, the Texans? I think he, I think Texans. he went to Houston. Uh, early in the second round, so it a lot was of a people liked him. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good draft crush. A lot of people liked good, Petrie. Well, it was a little unrealistic for where the 49ers were sitting at with pick 61. I think he went like 38 or something like that. But my point is that this guy Knight makes a lot of those same plays. Not as big, um, you know. Obviously, not as prolific as uh, as Petrie was, but he does a lot of the same things. So he he jumped out. I've heard, and I I didn't see this. Yeah. Um, on Friday, but I've heard uh, people who follow San Diego State say really good things about Taylor Hawkins, um, and and he's somebody that did a little bit of cornerback safety, and uh, the 49ers definitely are looking at him first at safety, and that's that seems to be the spot where there's the the biggest opening. And then I, I should point out that uh, Castro Fields, the uh, the Penn State cornerback with sub four four speed, is over six feet. Long arms, tons of experience, played at Penn State. Um, some people think that he's got safety uh, skills as well. The big, the big critique with him at cornerback is that he he wasn't much of a, a risk taker. Uh, he he kind of played it safe the whole time, and that seems to be more of a kind of a safety, free safety mentality. And